make you stand out. Please make those payments and take them out the freezer. Enjoy your day off. How was your day? Great. Did you pay the bills? Abby did it. And the plumber? Abby did it. Send money to Abby your Abby did it. Who's Abby? Bank on WhatsApp with Abby, your 24-7 digital personal banker. Another digital innovation that gets things done. That's Africa. That's ABSA. Did you take dinner out the freezer? <laughs> Yes, all the Kenyans watching here in Nairobi and in Diaspora, Kazi Nikazi, and Julius the Axe Man is on the Extraordinary today. What are you doing with what you know, what you have? Are you creative enough? Now, a young man, very young man, I would say, for this you know, time and age, decides to do haircuts with an axe. Julius the Axe Man, in Kiswahili, when I say Mashoka. Now, he's trended, made headlines for a lot of years now, still standing the test of time and insisting thing despite the technology and the changing you know machines here and there Julius has insisted on using shoka he gives amazing haircuts they will have pictures up there and of course you'll be seeing him do it live right here with one of our amazing gentlemen right here in the studio he'll do a nice haircut right here on set before you hear from him let's take a look at what he actually does in action from one of our videos compiled by our production team and then we come back with a discussion on why he is insisting that he is just julius the axeman take a look
All right, this is fascinating. Um, thank you very much, Julius the Axeman, Pakukuja, who could look up TV. Karibu sana. Thank you, thank you. We will learn your extraordinary <laughs> word because really, this is this is extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, jani yako ilianzi wapi? Jani yangu ipe. <coughs> jani yangu imetoka bari sana. Mm. Kwanzia kumaliza masomo, mm -hmm. up to there. Na, ni, ni kaingia industry ya, ya baba shop ya kunyoa. Mhm. Mm Yule nimetoka mbali nimengangana na challenge zote za baba shop mm -hmm. kujaribu makazi huko nje. Naona hapana haikufai. Mhm. Mm Hadi narudi za baba ya baba shop. Yeah. Sasa hiyo kazi ya baba shop ulijifunza? Eh nilijifunza. Hiyo ulienda professional. Yeah. Mbona hukutumia mashini? Unaanza sasa <laughs> ukaamua sasa acha mimi natumia shoka. Ni kuwa ni creativity. <coughs> First of all mimi nasema ni creativity na kuwa different mm -hmm. na other babas kwa sababu sasa hii ma, ma, maisha vali imefika ni lazima ukue na kitu yenye ni yako personal kitu yenye unafanya different na other people Do... imekuwa competitive sana sasa <laughs> wewe ulisema ndio ni stand out itabidi sasa hii shoka yeah. lakini swali ni kitambo ufikirie ni shoka umejua ungetumia anything kuna yeah. wembe yeah. kuna kuna vitu tofauti ungetumia kunywa lakini mbona ulichagua shoka Nilichagua shoka kwa sababu haijawahi hakuna mtu ameyai nyolewa na shoka na hakuna mtu age imagine shoka inaweza nyoa. Sasa nilijaribu nilitafuta vitu mingi sana. Vitu mingi sana nikaona ai hapana bado hazifiki pale nataka. Mhm. Sasa ikafika ikafi, ikafi, pale nikaona shoka ndio inafaa. Mhm. Yeah. You do you use a specific shoka? Is your comments me specific? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Unaangaliaje yeah. hiyo shoka nataka what what Sasa, what makes it the quality shoka First of all shoka zenye watu wameona hapo hiyo si yenye hiyo ndio nilianza nayo ikiwa ya kwanza mm -hmm. lakini ilikuwa mzito sana hiyo ya green watu ndio walijua ikiwa ya kwanza Sasa ikaenda hivyo nikaona unajua ukianza kitu haujua unaona kama ni kizuri mara ya kwanza lakini time wenyewe unaenda ukipata experience unaona hapana Sasa ndivyo nikapata hii sasa hii ndio inakuanga mm -hmm. simple na ndio mm -hmm. inatoa vizuri kuliko hata yenye ilianza you actually saying umeendelea mm. ukiupgrade. Ni miaka ngapi ndani ya hii kazi yako ya ya kunywa watu na shoka? Imekuwa miaka ngapi sasa? Ya kunywa na shoka. Ehe. Ya kunywa na shoka saa hii ni 6 months. Ya oh. Hiyo haijakaa sana. Ya kunywa na machine ndio nimekaa nayo niko na 7 years. Mhm. Mm ya kunywa na machine. So you use the machine for 7 years which yeah. people actually feel is the you know the easiest way to do yeah. the haircut. Yeah. But now you proceeded to inventing your own style. Yeah. Na shoka now 6 months into cutting hair with the axe. All right. We want to try and uh, you know see how he does that practically here on air. But first Remember, he started doing the haircuts, and then now he's also been doing eyebrows. Una shape eyebrows are stana. Yeah. Wame receive a job, and no kasabu mimi ukini angwa takata izi eyebrows. Zamu na ugopa shoka tato ayoto. Najua sasa wasana ladies wariona wari complain sana kuona wana mwa nyora na shoka na wana taka kitu daring ata wow. The ladies want something daring. Yeah. Okay. Sasa nikabiri na wana nyora eyebrows kama kama ukona nyora kama yoyo yako yako si yako nyora. Kwa hivyo kitu ni mimi na zako fanya ni kunyoa tu eyebrows na shoka kama una una taka shoka kwa sababu na itamani na tao sana. Wasitara di meskia na samani kunyola na shoka na kama mnaona pengine tunadanganya there's a video right there and oh my goodness <laughs> can you see that video again of this lady getting her eyebrows trimmed na shoka Julius is right here you know talking about it alafu shongea mambo ya salon yako kwa api ama are you uh, are you moving yeah. uh, with your shoka but what you're seeing there is actually very neat work how ikazi yako uh, watu hawaja question hygiene Una, una make sure aje kuna, kuna moja tuliona unatumia kitu kama form yeah. tunajua machine na kwa you know uh, sanitize vitu kama hizi kwa sababu hii ni blend si ndio yeah. uh, how do you ensure that your work is clean and, and sanitized first of all the first thing ni kusanitize na kuweka kwa sterilizer hii ni lazima isterilize pale kwa machine unaiweka hapo ina sterilizwa vizuri after hapo ikikuja una sanitize vizuri na spirit na cotton Una mixwa iko safi hivyo unaona ina sign hivyo. Kwa hiyo Tuna make sure iko safi hivyo ina shine hivyo. How many of these chokers do you have uh, that you work with? Ni ngapi uko nazo zenye meka kando ni hizi ni za ofisi yako? Alafu tuambie uko na baba shop mahali mm. ama mtu anapiga na wanakuja. For now niko na 5 zenye zilikuwa mingi lakini nilizingine nilizweka kwa sababu 
ziko venye ningetaka no. ni mzito so you try <coughs> yeah yeah na huwa kananunua na kuja na try naona hii imeweza na iweka pari ya kunywa mm-hmm. sasa kama iwezi hiyo anaachana tu nayo najua watu wengine wanashangaa huyu mwenye amekaa hapa katikati <laughs> ni nani yeah this is an amazing gentleman who has said you know what i want to feel and try this this the work i'm seeing on air in the kazi ashoka <laughs> you actually even make the styles the zigzags with yeah. the same axe yeah are you it's sure so nice. na kuna it, picha na hiyo iko poa kabisa kufanya style you use with this yeah okay this is fascinating. Please send in your questions. Look up TV. We are live on Facebook. That exact haircut that is on screen has fascinated me. Creativity yako, ukitengeneza hizi haircut. Um okay, do you experiment or are you sure it's going to come out like that? Unadwaje itafanya because uh, I don't know. Do you do you have something you watching on YouTube that guides you in kusaidia kuwa kufuatilia hiyo creativity yako ama ni vile tu wewe unajitrain unajua ta youtube ukiingia utafute soka tu ni mimi tu utapata hakuna <laughs> mtu mwingine utapata unajua tu na shoka <laughs> sasa tuseme tu mimi naweza sema tu nikitoa mungu tu kwa sababu venye mimi nilianza kazi nao mara ya kwanza hata mimi nilikaa hivi nikajiuliza how mm-hmm. nimeweza aje mm-hmm. naona mm-hmm. kwa hivyo nasema tu ni Mungu tu kwa sababu nilikuja tu kwa my div kwa sababu mimi najua kunyoa kwa hivyo venye nilikuja na shoka nikaona venye nanyoanga na mashine wacha nijaribu kunyoa na shoka hata venye nachoranga na mashine style nitanyoa mm-hmm. nitachora mpaka na shoka na ikaweza tu na ikaweza Bora tu niwe sharp sharp kabisa eh eh Bora <laughs> <laughs> iwe sharp iwe eh, sharp, kabisa. sharp kabisa a lot of Kenyans are now about to ask how much you know tunajua Kinyozi ama baba shop na lingana na wapi umeenda kuna watu yeah. wa Kilimani Westlands yeah. kuna wale wa you know um uko kwa kina Mukaman ila lingana na mahali umeenda kunyoa sasa zingine yeah. mtoto kama huyu Miles yeah. unapata tunaonyoa na 150 yeah. pengine 500 uh, bei zako tutaangalia kidogo kidogo lakini sijui kama tunaweza jaribu tunyoe huyu tuweke bed kidogo and let's see him do practically this is Julius uh, the axman and he has said Six months into using the axe and I want to also find out if there are any accidents that happened during this period because I do ani kinyonao mimi na wembe hapa nasikia kidogo yeah lakini nimesema axe lazima ikuwe sharp kabisa you don't have any accidents as far as it's concerned and it's okay to tell us the truth yeah kusema ukweli mimi sijawahi na strategy kwa sababu huanga na kuaga makini sana kwa sababu kitu kama hii hata ukiangalia historia yake si kitu imekuwa ikifanya ni, ni yake mabaya mab, mab, watu wakiona wizi unaogopa unaona mm-hmm. hiyo kwa hiyo kuna na kuwa ya hoga na kuaga makini sana nikifanya kazi kwa hiyo hoga na mixua hata kasa mwenye ananyoa naye kwa sana sana hoga na mixua amelala ndio mm-hmm. mimi tu pole pole asiweke hiyo maidi yake ni nini amnyoa hapo sasa acha tuambie huyu lala I was hoping I could move uh, but I want to give you guys a moment with um, uh, uh, Julius the Axman and we have um, you know um, Leon here <laughs> Leon, I, uh, your parents are probably watching your family is watching <laughs> and they're seeing what what Julius is holding looks like a weapon <laughs> all right but what we're going to do here is to see why he comes out as extraordinary today on this segment on the morning drift and actually see for yourself a bit of haircut has been done but finalizing on it is what we want to see now with the axe kwa kiswahili wanasema shoka umeona kwa video ume you know video ama ni video tunasema je sali na ukasema pengine ni picha tu ama lakini hebu tujione kama kweli kazi yake ni safi alafu mimi nitamua pia kama nitafanya eyebrows yes miles what do you think of that Uh, let's take a look at what he's going to do now right about now take action karibu sana thank you allah <laughs> all right
Yeah, so now basically what we are seeing is, you know, Julius in action uh, with the axe. Julius just keep doing it. I've seen yeah. uh, a great change on the other, you know, you can actually, he's actually giving Watonite a cut, you know, uh, on the side. And, you know, uh, Leon, just smile if you're good. <laughs> you're good? <laughs> You know, we have to make sure that, that, yeah, that you're yeah, good. Yeah. Is it too sharp? No. Yeah, no? Okay, you, of course you cannot hear him, but he says it isn't that sharp. And we're seeing that it's coming through. My goodness, it's coming through. He actually likes it. <laughs> and uh, um, Julius, you make sure you're a dog. Like, you know, how do you ensure that um, it's not going too deep? Hapa. into yes into the skin yes i'm giving you the moment we are about to wrap up alafu tujue ni pesa ngapi ama tukate ile juu so how long does it take you to do a, a haircut Kwa style kama hii, mm hii -hmm. naza take 20 minutes. Kwa sababu, only? Kusa, yeah, 20 minutes only. For the Jordan, when you wantaka kanyore isha kabisa, hao hiyo diyo una, una take time mzuri kwa sababu, yake ni kuwene na hiyo kuwene, unajua hiyo, unakaribia una, una nyama. Asa hiyo naza nyua na 30 minutes, hiyo. <laughs> unakaribia gozi yake sana. <laughs> Ah, Julius, I think I should come to the barber shop. You are more fun than I expected. Um, so, so now, okay, just finish and then let's see the uh, the final haircut, the the neatness. Leon Leo Hamta Pumua, KM Leo Hamta Pumua. What are your comments? Please let us know of what you think of this amazing initiative at Look Up TV. We are live on Facebook. We are also on Twitter. And Julius, the Axeman, Ameamua Yeye. I've tried, you know, the, the mm. machines this while. I know everyone is going, uh, you know, digital with the machines, but he has said, Ile Shoka, Ile Axe. And I'm belie I believe this is something that was used in the ancient times. Please correct me, but if you're a historian, I'd love to also follow that with you. Now, Nahapa Victor Muri is watching. Victor Abari Asubui, Joy Joan. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Uh, Joy Maura, and I watch Paul Ocheng as well, and Sesmo, Tony Blair from Kisumu, also following closely on the Extraordinary Today. The challenge is what are you doing with yourself right about now? And I think it's turned out really amazing. We're looking at the last, you know, bit of how he's doing this. And remember, he's also doing this with the ladies, Anafanya eyebrows. So, no more tweezing. Uh, no more threading. You can actually use an axe. Um, Julius. Yeah. This is a new combine in back here. Yeah, cut. Well, 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 well. We can find a hippo in Guinea and Camarovo. Because it's literally, you know, uh, you know, he's using <laughs> that axe that way. And uh, we are, just smile if you feel okay. You're all right. Kunaatu yeah. may say mambo ya maybe reactions to the metal, the metallic. Hmm. Maybe rashes kuna wengine ukitumia machine ya baba shop unaona yeah. ana react any reports from your ex pengine hakuna mtu ame complain <coughs> sasa hapo hiyo ni important sana kwa sababu sasa turudi hapo nyuma kidogo before nichague shoka mm. nilipenda sana kwa sababu haka itoa pimples in ah. machine waga inatoa kama ija sanitizer vizuri ama huo umechange baba mwenye waga na kunyoa mm -hmm. ukichange waga unafura lakini ya ufuri. Mhm. Mm Iko sawa kabisa. Hata watu wenye wanga wanataka kunyorewa na bembe ikibanywa kwa sawa. All right. Yeah. Unanyoa watoto? <coughs> eh watoto nanyoa lakini kuanzia 6 old. 6 years yeah, old. Yeah. So you also check keenly yeah, on the age. Yeah. Mbona unaangalia hiyo age? <laughs> kwa sababu sasa sema mtoto wangu wanga mm -hmm. wanga anasubua, uh -huh. analia, anajirusha ana rusa hivi. Kwa hivyo Iyo, suwezi taa kuriska. Ya. Na, na uliza, mm -hmm. uh, hii kazi unawana kiendelea na for how long? Sabu now we are six months in check. Ya. Yeah. Kuna nini ume improve kwa hii kazi? Mm -hmm. Najua umegeoza shoka. Mm -hmm. Me, uh, alafu, kuna yu makasi ndiona unatumia? Ya. Yeah. What is the procedure? Kuna yu makasi ndiona ukitumia pa kukata kwanza, alafu, mm -hmm. doka unaniambia after that unatumia shoka? Iyo makazi nataka, iyo nawe unataka nijitraini nyue na nyue na nyue nyuele bila kutumia kitu yote. 
na nyama hiyo hii ni ile makazi kubwa ile ya kunyoa ya kutengeneza fans aha sasa hiyo nataka nijifunze zibe bidi sasa kunyoa na na, 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 na makazi na shoka yeah serious <laughs> mm. wajua sasa kenya iko yeah. mm mi napendaka kuwa mtu different na other people because sasa hivi kitaka ku move vizuri ku move na idea yako nice nice nataka ni iwe na idea ya kunyoa na shoka hii sasa hii saa experience iko sawa niko nayo kabisa hata niko ready kusomesha watu mwenye nataka kujua nice. kunyoa na shoka okay sasa na hii ya kunyoa na hii na makazi nayo mm-hmm. hiyo sijaionya sana sana yani sijaitoa sana okay kwanza nataka kuanda kwanza nifunze watu hii ndio ndivyo nikaenda kujifunza na kunyoa na, na makasi na unikuje nifunze watu sasa. Umeongea mbaya kufunza watu na hii shoka unawafunza wapi kwa sababu hii hapa ni maono yeah. create job employment na hii yeah. ni extraordinary. Yeah. Tunafunga lakini nataka kujua una watrain wapi na ni age group gani unawachukua yeah. na support gani unahitaji sasa hizi kwa sababu nyinyi ndio wale watu tumekuwa tukifuta after. <laughs> Mimi kufunza bado si, kufunza mimi nilikuwa nataka kwenda kwa kwa watu wenye wako na mashuhuda kama Dekan College shule kama hizo mm-hmm. kwa sababu kuna ya mm-hmm. kwa mfunzia huko kwa sababu mm-hmm. mimi ndoto yangu yenye nilikuwa nao nikufungua shule yangu ah, mimi mwenyewe niite wanafunzi wakuji wa wajifunze mm-hmm. lakini bado haijatimia vizuri kuna zida challenge hapa na pale za pesa yes hiyo ndio ndoto yangu na before hivyo nikipata mashuhuda wenye nataka wako na baba shop wako wanashomesana niingie huko ni waonyeshe experience yangu naweza naweza wake vizuri naweza furahia sana. Um I want to really nataka nijue. Mm. Uh, najua watu wameopoze, yeah. najua kuna wenye pia wamekuchekelea. Yeah. Ni nini nimekuweka ukisimama? Umekaa ngumu kwa sababu najua watu wana maswali kweli. Mimi kitu yenye wapi inaniweka ngumu na, na kitu yenye imeniweka ngumu ni ni kujua hii kitu ni Mungu alinipe. Na kujua ili kuja kwangu na ijai kuja kwa mtu mwingine, sasa ni lazima hii ni chance niko nayo ya ku move on na kuonyesha wale wengine you must be creative na kitu yenye unafanya ufanye ukijua you are the best na hiyo kitu na unaweza ifanya hivyo kitu unafanya unaweza ipindua ikuwe na design nyingine ya mtu mwingine afanyange huyo mm-hmm. mimi wanga nasikia nasikia niko na roho mzuri sana mm-hmm. nikinywa na shoka hata watu wakiongea waseme sijui tunajua watu wanasemanga huko kwa mtandao sijui wanaona kama wewe usikii vizuri ama nini ama nini ama, lakini mm-hmm. najua Mungu akiniletea yeye alikuwa anajua mimi niko sawa na siwezi kasirika mimi huanga sikasiriki nikwambia mtandao kama wale wengine mm-hmm. na huanga sikasiriki mm-hmm. kwa hivyo mimi nafanya kazi yangu vizuri sana najipea nguvu mm-hmm. najua i am going somewhere I like that. Yeah. Uh, niliuliza mambo ya baba shop yako kuna na specific location ama yeah. kwa size ni simu tu tutakupigia. Sasa hii unaweza waki na simu mm-hmm. lakini niko na baba shop yenye sasa nafanyia kazi. Mm-hmm. Mimi nakuanga Kiambu Road mm-hmm. ukienda Kiambu Road Kiambu uko kunaitwa The Ndegwa mm-hmm. next to Quick Mart. Mm-hmm. Nakuanga place inaitwa Pelican Village. Baba shop yangu inaitwa Clippers King inaitwa Clippers King. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, social media tunaweza kupata mtandao kwa nye mtandao. Yeah, huko. Yeah, niko yes. Instagram ni Julius the Axman, YouTube Julius the Axman. Kila pahari ukitafuta Julius the Axman utanipata huko. And I want us to now break the ice a little bit because it's ex- <laughs> extraordinary. Kwanza gotea you know ma- uh, Leo unaweza gota kama umesikia poa. <laughs> eh? Kazi nzuri. Safi ya. Yeah? And of course uh, tukua extraordinary pengine tunaulizanga mm. besides this ni tena Julius anapenda kufanya. Mimi. Sasa hata nikuweka <laughs> on the spot huko na yeye swali kikuja. Pengine wewe ni mwimbaji no kwa sababu mm. sometimes extraordinary people have certain talents zenye hawajatuonyesha. Yeah. Wewe ni artist ama ni nini hatujasikia unaweza imba kidogo tujue pengine. Hapa na mimi kuimba kuimba kitu yenye mimi naweza wewe boy yenye mimi naweza watolea. Mhm. <laughs> lakini si sasa hii. Si si hizi bila hii lakini huanga na plan. Yes. Hiyo itakuwa surprise. Ah. Ya shoka. Aha. Uh-huh. Ku motivate watu hakuna kazi wezi fanya. Mm-hmm. Na shoka inanyoa. Na tutatumania watu kutoka bari bari wa kuji wanyoroe na shoka. Wanasema mganga hawezi kuji. <laughs> Ni kweli ni ngumu lakini kuti kujiganga hapo mimi wapo nicheza lakini who cut your hair kwa sababu najua wasusi wanaweza kujisonga mimi nawajua wana braid hivyo youtube can you cut your hair with this yourself nani nani alikunyoa leo leo mmoja alinyoa ni jamaa anaitwa Astani tunafanya kazi na yeye mhm does he use shock on you hapana yeye inaga watu wawili also maybe wenye nitafunza sasa so or oh, you've not yet felt the experience yeah. of that on you yeah. would you love to unaweza tamani mtu ajifunze na wewe uhisi vile wengine wanahisi huwa natamani sana 
kwa sababu yasa benye wanga ni kama hawezangi mm -hmm. na pia mtu namwambia fanya hivi na hivi sijui ni creativity hapo hiyo kitu haiko ndani yake venye aitoe vizuri na wanga na kama mwenye tunafanya kazi na yeye yeye kwanza hatakagi story okay. kama hata wanga na opa all right yeah. so umesema shoka inanyoa na yeah. kazi ni kazi kazi ni kazi tunashukuru sana hakuna kuchagua mm -hmm. fanya kazi na creativity mm -hmm. na mtu ataenda bali you're tremendously extraordinary, you're yeah. fabulously extraordinary, you're amazingly extraordinary. Thank Tumeku you, celebrate you. sana. Najwa ni mechukua wakati kweli, tunengea na Aspirant Forum. Yeah. Na pia naona, Aspirant haikuja hapa ni mulize ya mehisi vipi ikazi yako ya Julius the Axeman. Na pia, tunaiza tuwa sasa hii, tuwene cut fully. Hmm? Lakini mwenye likufunga ni sisi kwa hati. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the Morning Drift and of course uh, please go support talent stand with the extraordinary we come back with the aspirant forum this is look up TV Mm-hmm.